What's up guys? Jack from Go Jack Outdoors and today we're going to be doing a different kind of video. We're going to be doing a restoration video. We're going to be restoring this carpenter's hammer. We've had it in the shop for a while now and the other day I was using it and the head came flying off and here's the handle. It's had its better days but I think we can restore the hammer. I think we'll sand and clean up that handle, put some new finish on it, and I think we may sandblast this, the hammer head, and hopefully we'll have a brand new, what looks like a brand new hammer by the end of the day. So let's get started. We're going to start with the handle, take all this electrical tape. I don't know why this was here. My dad probably put it on there, or whoever had this hammer last for some reason. Oh yeah, it's splintered a lot down here. Sticky electrical tape. What? All right, we got all this electrical tape off. Now there's a nail on the top of that, which I'm gonna go grab a, another carpenter's hammer to pry it out. Got our hammer. Just gonna pry this out. There we go. Urgh. I don't know about this one, guys. The more I look at this handle, the more I think this is too far gone. But we'll try our best. We're gonna try to make this work, but if not, we'll just buy a new handle from Atwoods. But for now, we got our handle all cleaned down. I'm gonna grab a sheet of sandpaper from my toolbox and we're gonna get sanding. All right, I got a bunch of different grits of sandpaper for my machine sander, but I'm just gonna use the sheets for hand sandpaper right now because I don't have any hands. So I'm gonna start with 60 grit, of course. It's pretty rough. Hopefully I get all this residue off of here. Ah! Oh. Ow, I got a splinter. All right, let's be a lot careful. We got our handle sanded down with the 60 grit coarse. Looks pretty good, it's really rough still. So I'm gonna go over it with 80 coarse right now. Got done with the 80. Now I'm gonna go, it's a big jump. I'm just gonna go straight to the, let's see, the 220. Here you go. Got done with the 220 and this handle looks a lot better. I really hope we can make it work. So let's go over to the air hose, blow all the dust off of this, and then we're gonna put some oil on it to finish it up. Got it all blown off, nothing on there anymore. So let's go get the oil treatment stuff that I have and put it on the handle. I bought this tongue oil finish from Atwoods, I believe, a few months ago. 
and I've used it on several different things and it works pretty good and it makes the wood sometimes look really pretty. So I'm going to use the oil finish on our handle. And I just found these too, these old needle nose pliers and if this video does well and you guys like it, I'll maybe end up restoring these. Comment down below if you want to see more stuff being restored and I'll do these on the next video of me restoring stuff if you want it. Alright, so we're going to take our blue rag, pour a bunch of this on there. Take our handle, wipe it on there. There you go. Got it all over. It says to let it sit for 15 minutes. Yeah, it says let it sit for 15 minutes, then wipe it back off with a rag. So I'll see you guys in 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. I got a new towel, and we're going to take our handle and just wipe it off. There you go. Our handle is done. It looks pretty cool. So I'm going to set it here to dry completely. Now let's move on to our hammerhead. I got the air compressor over here and I got a board outside. Woo, it's bright out here. Got our hammer out here and I need to switch that out with my homemade sandblaster. And if you guys haven't seen it, I made a homemade sandblaster. I haven't done a video on it, but if you guys want me to, let me know. But here it is. So, all right, I'm going to set you guys up, and we're going to sandblast this hammerhead. I got all my protective gear on, got my overalls on, and I got my sandblaster filled up with some sand from over there. And we're going to start sandblasting this hammerhead. the hammer all sandblasted looks much better it's not perfect but we're gonna go inside and get some sandpaper and get it better and get it all shiny got here it is I get some sandpaper and just go on it huh I have a Dremel I think I may have an attachment that can do this way faster so I'm gonna look for my Dremel, I'm not sure where it is. I found my Dremel. I still need to plug it in, but we're just gonna go at it, at the hammer until it's shiny and get away that matte gray look. it done it looks really good I think I'm just gonna leave it just like this 
think it looks pretty good. Our handle is completely dry, so now all we have to do is put them together. The car, the car. Oh my gosh, the just car, look at the it. The car is not perfect. Just look <laughs> at it. Oh yeah. Now, I think this is what it had last time. It just had a nail in there. And I'm just going to put two nails in there, I think. So I'm going to go find the right nails to put in there. Okay guys, I changed my mind. That crack in there, I found a sliver of wood and I'm just shoving it down the crack so it expands the wood and this will never come off hopefully. There you go. Let's see if I can rip it off. Didn't budge. Just to be safe, I'm gonna put one more nail on this right where it used to be, and then we'll be done. Keep it straight. Right where the old one used to be. There you go. Now, just because this little crack, oh, the nail went through there. Well, still helping it. Just because this little crack, it used to have a bunch of uh, electrical tape around it. So I'm going to put a couple strips of electrical tape around it. I went and got some brown electrical tape. I think that'll look the best. Put a strip off. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I can't really do it good without... Just like that, our old rusty hammer is now usable, and oh yeah, didn't even budge. So guys, it was kind of a little bit of a different video. I hope you guys liked it, and if you want me to do more, like I said, comment down below. I got a few pairs of old rusty pliers. I think I may have... I don't know what all I have. I have a bunch of rusty tools that need to be restored. Tell me if you like this video, but for now I'm going to wrap this video up. Go down there, ring the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.